Keep your shield up, or I'll ring your head like a bell. And now it begins. No. Now it ends. <laughs> and which one of you was a marksman at ten? Keep practicing, Bran. Go on. He won't be a boy forever. And winter is coming. In the name of Robert of the House Baratheon, the first of his name. Don't look away. King of the Andals and the first... Father man. will know if you do. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. I, Eddard, of the House Stark, Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North, sentence you to die. You'll train them yourselves. You'll feed them yourselves. And if they die, you'll bury them yourselves. You've got fat. <laughs> I don't fight in tournaments. No? Getting a little old for it? <laughs> I don't fight in tournaments. I just want to fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I can do. Well said. You as good with a spear as you used to be? No, but I'm still better than you. <laughs> I really can't. You can. You must. There's great honor serving in the night's watch. The Starks have manned the wall for thousands of years. And you are a Stark. You might not have my name, but you have my blood. The next time we see each other, we'll talk about your mother. Hmm? I promise. There were wars to fight, women to marry. You never had the chance to be young. I recall a few chances. I swear, if I weren't your king, you'd have hit me already. Worst thing about your coronation, I'll never get to hit you again. What is the meaning of this? Why was my daughter not brought to me at once? If it must be done, I'll do it myself. Is this some trick? The wolf is of the north. She deserves better than a butcher. If you'd like to change into something more appropriate. Is that what you tell yourself at night? You're a servant of justice. That you were avenging my father when you shove your sword in Ares Targaryen's back. We are all praying for Prince Joffrey's full recovery. Shame you didn't say a prayer for the butcher's son. As you will, but still, we'd best make our plans. There will be no plans until I speak to Robert. War was easier than daughters. You were born in the long summer. You've never known anything else. But now winter is truly coming. And in the winter, we must protect ourselves. Look after one another. Sansa is your sister. You're a funny man. Huh? A very funny man. Ned! Lord Baelish will see it paid for. I will. You found money for a champion's purse. You can find money to keep the peace. And every inn in the city is full, and the whores are walking bow-legged. I'm sure the two and it puts coins in many a pocket. Mm. If the day ever comes when that boy would rather wield a sword than forge one, you send him to me. You're missing your tournament. Putting my name on it doesn't make it mine. I suppose it makes sense. Your older brother was trained to lead and you were trained to follow. 
I was also trained to kill my enemies, Your Grace. Robert tends to do what he wants. If the king got what he wanted all the time, he'd still be fighting a damned rebellion. Look at this idiot. One ball and no brains. He can't even put a man's armor on him properly. You're too fat for your armor. I followed you into war. Twice. Without doubts. Without second thoughts. But I will not follow you now. The Robert I grew up with didn't tremble at the shadow of an unborn child. And good luck to him. I thought you were a better man. He was taken at my command to answer for his crimes. You kill me. Your brother's a dead man. In the name of Robert of the House Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, I charge you to bring the King's justice to the false knight Gregor Clegane and all those who shared in his crimes. I denounce him and detained him. I strip him of all ranks and titles, of all lands and holdings, and sentence him to death. Grand Maester Pycelle, oh, my lord. Send a raven to Casterly Rock. Inform Tywin Lannister that he has been summoned to court to answer for the crimes of his bannermen. He will arrive within the fortnight or be branded an enemy of the crown and a traitor to the realm. I will not dishonor Robert's last hours by shedding blood in his halls and dragging frightened children from their beds. You will sail to Dragonstone tonight. You will place this in the hand of Stannis Baratheon. Not his steward, not his captain of the guard, and not his wife. Only Stannis himself. Make peace with the Lannisters, you say. With the people who tried to murder my boy. We only make peace with our enemies, my lord. That's why it's called making peace. No. I won't do it. So it will be Stannis and war. There is no other choice. He is the heir. Sir Barristan is a good man, a loyal man. Do him no harm. Commander! Take the Queen and her children into custody. Escort them back to the royal apartments and keep them there, under guard. If that's true, then slip my throat and be done with it. <laughs> you think my life is some precious thing to me? That I would trade my honor for a few more years of what? Of war? You grew up with actors. You learned their craft and you learned it well. But I grew up with soldiers. I learned how to die a long time ago. 